Hey, it's Johnny from Chicago South SEO. About a year ago, I created a video that showed you how to create a backup using a WordPress plugin known as Backup WordPress. Unfortunately, what I failed to do was show you how to restore that backup once you created it. I do apologize for that, and I'm here to show you how to do that now. Now, this can be done in four easy steps and it's basically downloading your backup copy unzipping that compressed file once you've downloaded it and putting it in a special folder if you choose to do that then the next two steps are simply restoring the files that you've backed up as well as restoring your database using PHP my admin so let's go ahead and get started okay before we get started there are four things that you're going to need the first thing you're going to need is a file transfer protocol. In this video, we actually use an add-on, a Firefox add-on called FireFTP. You're also going to need a zip program, such as WinZip or 7-Zip. You're also going to need access to your website directories. In this video, we use cPanel access. And you're also going to need administrative rights to your WordPress installation. Okay, step number one, download a copy of your backup files. Now there are two ways that you can do this. You can do this by going into your WordPress installation and using the download feature in the actions column on the manage backup page. The second way you can do this is using a file transfer protocol program. You can navigate to your WP content folder and inside there you're going to find a folder called backup WordPress and that's where you're going to find your backup. Now that backup is going to be a zip or compressed file and what you're going to want to do is you're going to need to or you're going to want to download the zip file to your hard drive. Now one thing you're going to notice in this example is that the easiest way to really do that is to really just download it from uh, your backups folder within your WordPress installation and that's kind of the way we're doing it on this video. Okay, for step number two, you will need to unzip the compressed file. You'll need to use that unzipping program we talked about earlier, or a unzipping program, such as WinZip or 7-Zip, to extract the files. Now, depending on the size of your backup, this can take some time. My file took about three minutes to unzip. Now, when the file has been unzipped, you should see the following. Your database file, ending in a .sql extension, your blog or a series of website files usually consisting of your WP admin, WP content, and WP includes folders along with a host of files ending in .php. And finally you will see what's referred to as a HT access file or .ht access file which serves as a directory level configuration file. So if you see these files then you know that your unzip process was successful and you can move on to the next step. Okay, step number three, restoring your files via upload or via an FTP program. Using an FTP program, upload, making sure that you overwrite the files listed or the files we talked about earlier. For this video, I am using a Firefox browser add-on called Fire FTP. And that's what I'm using to do the upload from my local drive where I've got the file sitting to the location on my server or my installation my WordPress installation on my server where my hosting company has directed me or where I have installed them now one thing I do want to note is that I'm uploading my files onto or into my what's called public underscore HTML folder your setup may be different and you may want to confirm with your hosting company where your WordPress installation is located. And once you've done that, you have completed step three and you can move on to step four. Okay, we're at step number four, restore your database. I do also want to mention that this is the longest part of the video, but I'd much rather give you a slightly longer video than give you a shorter video and you have trouble 
with the restoration process. In order to complete the restoration process, you now need to import your backed up database, which is file name .sql. There are a few ways that you can do this. In this video, I do it using a tool called PHP My Admin, which is a utility that's available within my cPanel in my website install from my hosting service. Note, and I do say note, there are similar tools like PHP My Admin as well as standalone desktop tools. No matter what you use, you are still going to need to know the ID and the password to access the folder where your database is stored. Okay, to use the PHP My Admin application, this is what you need to do next. In the cPanel, or whatever your setup is, locate the PHP My Admin program and double click the icon. Next, log in the PHP My Admin using your ID and password and click OK or click Enter. Once inside of PHP at My Admin, click the Databases tab and select the database that you want to restore. Note, for references purposes, you will see a series of tables below. This lets you know that you're in the right place. For the next step, click the Import tab and locate the files to import section. Now click the browse button. You will get a pop-up screen. Now within that pop-up screen, navigate to the directory on your computer or the location you have stored the backup database. So what you want to do is you want to find the location of your file or that file name.sql. Once you've done that, select the database file and then click open or go. It's going to depend on your setup. Next, you're back, in the, you're back on PHP My Admin. Go down to the format section and make sure you have selected the SQL format. Now you can click the go button just below that and to the right and your import will start. After the import has completed, you will see the following message. And that message will say import has successfully finished. It will say XX number of queries executed and it will give you the file name or file whatever the file name dot SQL. And basically you are finished and good job. Now don't forget to test your work. You can do that by successfully logging into your WordPress app and checking things out everything works out and you can see the data or the old data or the old files or the old posts and things like that that um, you were looking for then everything was successful if you had issues or your restore should fail there is a link at the bottom of this video that will take you to uh, some troubleshooting sites and or some troubleshooting uh, provide some troubleshooting tips for you but uh, if you followed uh, closely and you've done all the steps you should be fine one thing you can do for me if this video was useful for you please feel free to share it with friends also I would greatly appreciate it if you would like my Facebook fan page or follow me on Twitter well once again I hope this has been helpful this is John from Chicago South SEO thank you for taking the time to view this video and have a great day